Oh, cool. Some of the other episodes of Rick and Morty have been announced. What are they called? The ABCs of Beth. Jerry gets lucky with a woman. How does that happen? I don't think she's human. I bet, I bet you she is, um, I bet you she is, like, a robot or something. And Beth calls Mary from her childhood, okay. Morty mind blowers. Morty? Morty recalls memories from the past and helps him reveal a secret. such a mess horrible that's what happens when I get walk in the rain then my hair gets soaking and then the, well, it gets a little bit wet then all the gel comes out of it so it's all like like sticky so then I wet it again and dry it and now it's a mess can I use this to comb it back scratcher it's actually quite depressing that we need to buy things to scratch your back now. Before they probably used like in the olden days, in the caveman days, probably used sticks. Ow, ow. Um, I'm getting completely off topic. Yeah, so there's no Rick and Morty out, and I know I said in the last video of it that I was probably going to do like maybe... I don't know, what was it? what did I even say? Yeah, I said, so I did the first five episodes all in the one video. And, like, I said that I'll either do episodes one to, no, uh, episodes six to nine in the one video, or six to ten in the one video. So the next five episodes and the next four episodes depends on how big the finale was. Because if it, if it was like a huge finale, like season two, like I would have made a video on it. But if it wasn't like a huge finale. And also the finale is where Rick goes to head with the president. That's all it says. So I hope it means Galactic Federation because then, then that would mean Phoenix person. And I was completely wrong about episode 6 when I said Phoenix person was going to be in it. I don't know. And what was I saying? I was saying something before and then I got tracked on and on. Um, yeah. And then, so about, about, um, about making, I said I was going to make at least four, four or five in the one video. I changed my mind. I'm just going to do like one video for each of them. Or maybe two videos for one. I don't like. I'll try and do it only two episodes per one video max from now on. I'm gonna definitely gonna do a video on the rest of the episode though. And basically, this episode was rest and relaxation, and this was not what I thought it was gonna be. So the plot was the main plot was Rick and Morty. So they went in separate adventures, and then the side plot was also Rick and Morty. And if you haven't seen the episodes, you're probably quite confused by this. Because, um, well, I'll let Mr. Xenomorph tell you. Come on, find them. I just did that because I, I wanted, I got in the Xenomorph toy and I wanted to show you. Because it's, it's apparently there's a pop figure. Look, it doesn't look like a pop figure at all. But it kind of does actually, in a way, I guess. Look, is. I'm trying to build up a collection of pop figures. Because I've got that anti-venom rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Baby group. I also got that thing I got from Insomnia. I think this is from Little Big Planet. I don't know. I got this from Insomnia. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Anyway, so what happens is they go on a big adventure. 
for a whole six days, then they like cry. Blah blah blah. You've probably all seen it if you like Rick and Morty. And then, um, so they need a va- so they need a break. Then the like the intro plays the really cringy, not as bad as the cringy one I have. And then um, they're in a spa, and they go into a machine and they get their toxins removed. And see it for and then so basically what happens is. So see when you get your apparently the toxins have their own personality, and the toxins are inside of the machine, and there's toxic Morty and toxic Rick, and then they're removed of everything that they think is toxic about them. Like it's everything that is toxic about them, but then later in the episode it reveals it's like refined by the own user's definition of toxic. So toxic Rick is angry and he's like. I'm the best and stuff. And he, he's like, makes fun of Morty a lot. And then, um, and his anger and stuff. But then, see, um, see, toxic Morty. He is like, his toxic is he's like, he's like, oh, I'm so ugly. He's like, oh, I'm so ugly. Nobody wants to look at me. And then, it's like, I think my voice is annoying, and Rick is like, yeah, it is. And he's like, and it's and it's your best feature. And then, so it's just like, Toxic Marty's, and then when he holds him up to the camera later in the episode, Toxic Marty's like, I don't want to be on camera, I'm so ug- ugly, everybody hates me. So it's like, and then, but we find out later in the episode that, like, Rick really does care about Marty because part of what, Rick thinks toxic about himself is his care for Morty because he's like, it's like, um, because he, he thinks that maybe that holds him back or something. But it's quite funny because he talk, um, not the other versions of them are healthy, Rick and healthy Morty. They're the ones with all the toxic things from their point of view that are toxic about them and they're healthy. They're like, people are calling them toxic Rick, toxic Morty. Or Gunk Morty and Gunk Rick. Did I say Toxic Morty twice? I don't care. And then, basically, and then the other ones are called Healthy Rick and Healthy Morty. But see, Healthy Morty. Healthy Morty's like normal Rick. And normal Rick's like Healthy Morty. It's quite funny. And then, basically, what happens is, so later in the episode, it's like, Morty's kind of annoying, but healthy Morty, and he talks really fast. And then, and then, but see, at first when I watched the episode, at first I thought they were like creatures from another dimension. At first I didn't realise that it was toxic things about them, and I thought they were creatures from another dimension. And then I was like, so when I saw them come out of the, um, like, the walk out normal, I was like, what? And then it was like, I thought they were things from a, another dimension it, because Healthy Rick said this universe. So I thought they came from a different universe. But I know that I was wrong. I realised that I was wrong now. And, um, and I try to forget... And then, see how I was saying how in this season there seems to be a lot of things like what you thought was two episodes actually turned out to be just the one episode, like the Big Arm Morty in the castle and the Mad Max episode. They were the one episode. And then the, the um, like the Concerto, was that his name? And the Pickle Rick episode, they were the one episode as well. And then the same with this one, because see how I thought that the one, because see, you could see them fighting versions of themselves in the trailer, the green toxic versions of themselves. And then you could see at the end of the trailer, it was the toxic versions going, takes more than that to kill Rick and Morty. And then toxic Cronenbergs come up and then he's like, that might do it. Run, Morty, run. And so I thought that that might be the final episode or the second final but apparently it was this one, so that's, again, two episodes put into one. Rest and relaxation and what I thought was going to be the final episode. And then, 
Um, also, the reason I'm, one of the reasons I'm also doing this, I don't know if I said it. There's no episode this Sunday. Um, there's a there's there's a two week break for some reason, and I was like, oh look, yes, Nick, like Nick, look, I'm, I was on Justin Roiland's channel, which is called Not Justin Roiland. I know, and then I was like, like the pretend this is that you're not on here, and this is me on YouTube. Oh, look, oh, cool. Right, this is here that is the next week on Rick and Morty. Oh, is this is the Atlantis episode. Ah, oh. Rick and Morty returns in two weeks. And that raged me. And then also in that episode, it was so cool. And I thought I was rooting for, like, I thought that our Rick and Morty was mostly the gunk Rick and Morty, or toxic one. That's how I was always rooting for them, but now I realise I'm kind of, I don't know. It's like, over oh, who am I rooting for? Who do you want to, like, who do you want to win? And their plan was to, and then when they get out of the machine, they actually fight. And then it's it's quite cool. And then they've destroyed the whole room. And it's like, Beth comes in and it's like, Dad? Because there's two of them. And then you see on the TV that someone's watching Mrs. Pancakes is on the TV. And she's from, I think it was, she's been in one or two episodes. She was definitely in episode two of season one. I don't know what other ones, if she was in any other ones. And then also... Um, there was, there was, um, I'm trying to think of all the things that there were. And, yeah, and see the bit where it's, like, Grandpa Rick, when, like, they smash for the table in front of Summer. Toxic Rick says, F you, Summer. And Healthy Rick says, Sorry, Summer. At first, I thought they both said, Sorry, Summer. But this morning I real I was watching part of it again and then I realised that it, they said that and I was like that's quite funny and then the t toxic work turns the whole world toxic and um but they get turn it back to normal because toxic Rick doesn't want to go inside back normal Rick because he's like oh you're a coward and stuff and then. Um, because what he does is they found that's how they found out that Toxic Rick still cares about Morty. And then, so what he does is he shoots this bullet at him, what Toxic Morty, that would kill him in 20 minutes. And then he shoots him again, which was shot in the time to 10 minutes. And then again, and then he's like, he does care. So he, put, he, he puts Toxic, he puts himself back inside Healthy Rick so that it's just normal Rick now. And then, so we can save Toxic Morty. And then, and then it just turns back, and then it turns the world back to normal. But then Healthy Morty, like, flies away. And then, um, like, you're a better man than me, Rick. I'm healthy enough to admit it. And then I didn't, I was like, you're going to save me, right, Rick? And then it's like, part of me wanted to, Toxic Morty. Part of me wanted to. And you could see him, like, put a, a syringe in him. But, and then it's like, Three weeks, three weeks later in New York, they like the three weeks later in this season. Did you just realise something? They've had a couple times in this season bits and episodes where it's six days later, six. Days, three days, three weeks later, three weeks later. That's been once or twi two or three times. Three weeks later, and then, and the thing it was like we should start our sto an episode, in season two, episode eight. Um, no, was it episode ten? I don't even know anymore. It was episode nine that was it, I think. Because episode nine was um, the purge one, and that was the episode. 
then episode 10 was the interdimensional cable 2 and then episode 11 was wedding squinters and then basic uh, yeah and then it's like three weeks earlier so it's, maybe it's a callback to that but then i realize it's three weeks later not three weeks earlier but i'm chill enough here again and then you see healthy morty's like in a stock businessman and then it goes back to an apartment and there's like this woman there and it's like and then jessica calls him on his phone and he's like morty i want you to come back i just want to talk to you for a minute healthy morty's like is that how long it takes for rick to track me and then he puts his phone down but he forgot to hang up so rick can track his location and then rick and jessica come through the portal and they put toxic morty inside of back inside of um toxic they put toxic morty back inside of healthy morty and then it's like at least it was worth it to know that you care normal morty says that and then rick Je Jessica's like, oh, I'm, I'm just fine with you, Morty. I did this for him. And then Rick went, you lying. You lying, bitch. And then it was like, she kept coming over to our house and saying, have you got a new Morty yet? Have you got a new Morty yet? And then Jessica goes, it's because you keep speaking be dialing me drunk and crying about it and then rick says i wasn't crying and then they can see them arguing in the background that it was funny and then the ed credit scene of this episode was just this woman from earlier that got put inside the machine and she i didn't like that episode the end credit scene wasn't really funny the end credit episode the end credit scenes of the this season is not that funny the good ones were the, well, the Phoenix person one was good, but it wasn't really funny. Episode two's one was funny, though, where it was, like, the wolf at Jerry's um, unemployment check, and then it was, like, loser. Episode three after credit scene was okay. Episode four after credit scene was rubbish. I didn't, I, like, I didn't like it. Episode five after credit scene, that was quite funny, I guess. Or... Oh, you could i just right i need to add something to that see the big monster that comes like cro the guy that's all disfigured that's ethan and ethan does that to morty i i didn't realize that i only saw it in like breakdowns of the video and then i realized that was it and it was quite funny and then we just think because rick put built anatomy park inside of ethan once it had been destroyed out of the Santa guy, Ruben, that was his name. And then, um, but if, but then that's, the, they're in a different dimension from them. But if in this dimension's Rex still built Anatomy Park inside of Ethan, that means that Ana Anatomy Park was inside of there and I hope that'd be a bit bad. So I think that's all about for this episode of well, not I, I, right. I've been saying about like videos. I keep calling it episodes, just normally talking about them because I've been like thinking about oh, here's the next episode of Rick and Martin and stuff like that. I really hope there's a season four though. I look like a hobo right now. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay awesome, guys. Disco Roboto out. Peace.